Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the new Seat Ibiza Hola FR version. Uh, is the petrol engine, is the powerful petrol engine that comes with this car, 1.5 liter petrol engine. And in this video we will make the full review, interior, exterior. I will explain you everything about this new uh, Ibiza. And yeah, as always guys, uh, if you are new on my channel, just click the subscribe button to see all the notification when a new video will come out on my channel. Also, if you want to check out the car, I will leave the link in the description to the garage Gauci. If you are in Switzerland, around Switzerland, you can check out the car. Also, you can drive it, test it, see the price and check everything. And until uh, we start with a review and until I start to show you the interior and the exterior, I want to give you some technical details about this car right here. And I have to tell you, this is not a brand new car because it already has 3,500 kilometers on it. Uh, yeah, of course it's new, but it's not a brand new car. Uh, it's from 2021 and also is the Ibiza Hola FR. Hola FR version mean that this car is the top of the line version that you can get on this car. Also, you can add some extra uh, options on it, of course. Uh, for example, like uh, color and some options in the interior. I will talk about that in a second. Uh, the great part is that this car, this Hola FR version, the starting price is 31,130 francs. This is the basis price. And from here you can add some extra optional uh, on it. I will show you in a second because this uh, model right here, it has some extras on it. For example, the color. This is Nevada white metallic, uh, this color, and you have to pay 600 francs extra depending which country you are. It may be the different uh, price. Also, this model right here, we have the powerful petrol engine. You can get this car also with a one liter petrol engine, 110 horsepower. Also, you can get it with a gas engine, but right here with me i have the powerful version that you can get it 150 horsepower four cylinders in line uh, 1.5 liter also it comes with a seven speed dsg uh, automatic transmission uh, it's a front wheel drive probably you already know that and the price of this car that i have it with me right here it's 25,900 francs so you have a discount of around 5,000 francs it's just incredible just for 3,500 kilometers you have 5,000 discount and i think it's a great price if i have to buy it um, yeah, I will probably get it like that uh, already with a few kilometers on it. Not only this model, but probably also other models depend on every person. The weight of the car is 1,341 kilograms. The consumption of the car is 6.9 liters. Uh, pretty good consumption. I think you can get some better consumption from it if you drive under the speed limit and not faster than 120 kilometers. 156 CO2 grams emission and also the efficient class, it's a C, you can see it right here, the C efficient class. Uh, also, another things that I want to give you here uh, is the fact that here in Switzerland, at least, I don't know in other countries, you have this Hola bonus. Uh, I think if you get this Hola version, you will get 3,380 uh, francs discount also on the new cars of course Seat connectivity 220 francs also this car right here I know many people complain in my video that the cars doesn't have a spare tire but this one here this Ibiza come with a spare tire you will have to pay 60 francs extra so for 60 francs uh, around 65 dollars it's totally deserved to have a spare tire it comes with a 10.25 inch display inside I like very much this new multimedia system from Seat also full digital Digital cockpit wow this is amazing you have to pay 400 francs extra but it totally deserve it I mean the cockpit in this new Seat cars is just gorgeous and also you have this sound system if you want to hear music louder in the car and good quality you have the Beats audio sound system 490 francs extra and now I think it's enough with this technical detail let's go to the review guys guys now that you already know the technical details let's go a little bit on the exterior and let's talk about the different things that comes on this um, Ibiza FR and first of all I want to tell you that the car come in the front right here with the FR logo right here on the grill so you will know this is a special version so the grill it's pretty typical for Seat nothing fancy nothing new here also you have the Seat logo in the middle right here uh, matte black uh, plastic some chrome design around here uh, other than that pretty aerodynamic shape in the front right here 
if we go down here, you have also huge air intakes. You can see like my hand is go all the way straight inside there. And also in the middle, if you see this square plastic, that means the car come with a radar. And this radar right here, it's for the adaptive cruise control, emergency brake, and all that tempomat function uh, that will come with the car. So that's really, really helpful. Now, going forward on the front bumper, pretty nice shape, sharp edges, and aerodynamic shape. I like the front of the car, uh, the way they design it. Also, the car in the front come with four parking sensors. Very helpful uh, when you want to park the car. Uh, and then if we go a little bit down here, also some kind of nice uh, design here in a black matte plastics. And in the middle you have the fog lamps. Uh, it's not an LED light, it's normal bulb light, but I just want to uh, show you. If we go a little bit upper, the things are changing right here because we have full LED light right here also on the turning signals and also for the high beam and the low beam. Also, if you look inside there, you can see SEAT lighting, uh, writing right there inside the headlights. And they look really nice. And also even the turning signals look really impressive. Uh, I like it very much. I think this is a premium thing. On the car, if I go down, you can see it a little bit better. Look really good. In terms of lightning, uh, I don't have any complaint about this car. Also here on the mirror, you have LED lights. You can see it right here, um, turning signals. And the shape of the mirror, the fact that they, they make it glossy uh, black, look really beautiful, really beautiful. Nice aerodynamic, nice modern shape of the mirror. Um, I like it, I like it very much. Even though here it's a little bit smaller and it has this um, shape, it's still a nice mirror. And also it helps when you drive uh, on the road, so it helps the aerodynamic of the car. Also, if you wanna check out the test drive, guys, with this Ibiza FR, just check it out on my channel. I have a, the test drive already. Probably it's already on my channel. If it's not already on my channel, just click the subscribe button to see the notification when the video will come out. Now, let me finish with the lights going in the back here. Also, I'm not sure if you can see it so well because it's super sunny outside. But here you have the tail light, the normal tail light, that it's LED and it looks really beautiful. In my opinion, it's kind of a three dimensional shape right there triangle three-dimensional shape also the the brake light are leds uh, and also the fog lamp it's led you can see it right here but the turning signals are normal bulb light so no led in terms of turning signals that's a little bit yeah something that i wish it was different but other than that pretty nice design i like it the way uh, they did it. Also the reverse light, it's a normal bulb light, you can see it here. On the roof spoiler, you have also the brake light, LED light, and the roof spoiler is pretty simple. You know, for an FR uh, version, I was expect to have something more fancy, more sportier on this spoiler here, some kind of glossy plastic here on the side. I think the car was looking much better, but other than that, pretty simple, pretty clean design. The radio antenna, it's pretty nice. Uh, and simple also i wish it was shorter until here that was much better maybe on the next uh, model and if i go down i want to finish with the lights you can see the great part is that the car come with led lights on the number plate and also we have a reverse camera right here awesome i mean this is good premium quality uh, other than that you have the fr uh, logo here on the right side and then you have the Ibiza leathers and then you have the Seat logo pretty nice the back of the car it's really beautiful um, I like the shape I like the lines of the car this is the brother from another mother of Volkswagen Polo it has beautiful shapes it looks somehow similar but but not the same <laughs> I don't know anyway four parking sensors in the back some light reflectors, very helpful here on the bumper. Pretty clean, nice bumper. You have two exhaust pipes, fake exhaust pipes here in the back with chrome. They look really nice, sportier. I like them, to be honest. And down here, you have kind of a plastic matte, black matte plastic. So overall, the back of the car look nice and pretty sportier. I like the lines. I like the shape of the car. I like here on the side. I don't know if you see it very well on the video, but those lines here on the side look really spectacular the way they design it. And even down here on the down part of the door look really, really good. On the down part here, you have the paint of the car. So no plastic, no protection down here, no any skirt or stuff like that. Uh, it's a clean design, but I like very much those lines. And if the car is white, I can see a little bit better the lines, the shapes, the design on the side. It's beautiful, beautiful. I like it. In my opinion, this is a beautiful car. 
of course it's not perfect you can change it here and there a few things but it's it's really beautiful and if i go back a little bit you can see that even the rims fit splendid with the car those are 18 inch rims they come standard with this hola fr at least here in switzerland and they look really nice if i go a little bit closer you can see right here that you have brake discs in the back they are a little bit smaller i will show you also in the front in a second and you can see the black and chrome silver design here look really spectacular love those those rims look at this in the front ventilated brake discs huge brake discs in the front they are perfect for 150 horsepower they are impressive i mean it's it's a small car pretty pretty light car and 150 horsepower feel pretty agile on this car so you can have some fun with it uh, I like that. Also, I like the fact that they add some kind of a plastic protection here on the down part. This is helpful in the time from rust and all kind of stuff like that. Also on the side here, you can see the glossy plastic between the windows uh, and you can see that pretty big windows. We will go inside, we will see the visibility, how is the visibility inside there. Also the handles, quite nice. The same you find it also on the Volkswagen Group. They are super nice. And let me close the lights, by the way. This is the lights controllers. I close the engine also and I want to show you the the key check this out this is the key guys it's a normal key that you have it also on the old version of uh, Volkswagen now they are those glossy black uh, beautiful key but now this is the old version and if you have the key in your pocket you go here put your finger right here and you lock the car and you can see it comes with electric folding mirrors put the hand here unlock the car how simple is that and it's worked really good also you can hear the doors okay pretty nice not bad at all so the sound is okay the hood guys i don't know check out on the video look at the lines beautiful lines on the hood this is super sporty super nice you have two lines in the middle another two sharp edges here beautiful shape i think together if you look from the distance I like it. I like it. Those small cars, you know, compact cars, uh, this class begin to be a little bit bigger. You know, it's almost a Golf. On the old Golf, if you look at Golf 4, it's, I think it's the same size. Anyway, pretty nice. The front of the car, you already see it. Uh, also here, uh, you don't have any cameras and nothing. It's just some sensors for the light and for the uh, raining. And let me go forward. Let me open the hood. Let me show you the engine. As I said before, petrol engine 1.5. Let me open this. Super simple. It's a manual lift gate here. You have 1.5 liter petrol engine, 150 horsepower, four cylinders in line, uh, combined with a seven speed DSG gearbox. Pretty classic array, guys. Filter from Volkswagen Group is the same engine that Volkswagen and Skoda also use it. So, Yes, just want to show you. Let's go forward. As you know, probably you open the trunk from here. I like that it's super easy to open the trunk. You have some handles here, manual handles. You have this protection for the trunk. I will take it out in a second to show you how it looks without it. Other than that, the entrance, it's, it's pretty big for the size of the car. It's pretty regular and uh, you have some plastic at entrance here you have kind of a five seven centimeter deepness here so it's, it's not a completely flat floor but you have some storage space here you have some hook you have some uh, elastics i don't know how they call it and you have some hooks here hooks uh, you have a normal light here a normal bulb light no led another elastics and then you have also those hooks now the great part on this trunk something that i like very much is that you can take this out and you can put it even down just like that look at this and you can put your all four uh, tire series to change it or you can carry even more things if you you can go in holiday without any problem two person uh, you can put your bags here and for 60 francs extra 65 dollars i should say you will have a spare tire look at this i know guys i know you complain about this but sad give you the option to have a spare tire 18 inch wheels awesome huh and i like look how cool is that if you don't want to hold it like that you can push it up, push it down, and it will stay automatic like that. Great. Let me take this out and then we will fold down the seats. You can 
take a look a little bit better at the trunk the way it looks in my opinion pretty regular pretty big as i expected so you have enough space for the size of the car and also it's pretty practical one of the disadvantage on this uh, class and these cars not only on this um, seat ibiza special but on all the cars in this class is that you cannot fold the middle part to carry skis or long items you have to fold it 40 60 for example just like that 40 60 and then after you fold it down you can carry your stuff so folding the seat down it's almost a flat floor there and you have plenty of space in my opinion look at this plenty of space there to put your stuff you can even stick a fridge inside here or a wash machine it's pretty enough enough space I don't know, in my opinion, it's, it's pretty, pretty good space here in the interior uh, of the car. It's very similar with uh, the Volkswagen Polo. Now, if I go on the side, guys, by the way, I forget to show you. Here on the right side, you have the petrol tank. Keep in mind that it's on the passenger side. That was something that I almost forgot. Now, let me open the door here. Also, the entrance here in the car, it's pretty okay, pretty big enough big for for going inside and now you can see even a little bit better here in the back how much space you have there it's pretty good pretty pretty good space now down here on the legs room you have some storage space uh, actually left where you can put your stuff but yeah you have you have kind of a storage space here left to put your stuff after you fall down the seats you have a transmission tunnel that is quite big there it's normal for the Volkswagen group but other than that pretty good space so I wouldn't complain about the space in the car and the practicality is quite quite fine also I like uh, the white color on the car very much anyway let me fold back everything and then we will continue with the interior guys guys let's go forward here on the back door you have a big window from one piece and then you have another window a fixed one that stay here on the body of the car uh, other than that the doors here on the upper side you find plastic it has a nice design shape uh, look nice also the handle very well integrated in the door in kind of a gray black I like the way it looks here uh, and then going down here also you have plastic plastic even here on the armrest here I wish it was some kind of a soft material but it's normal at the price of the car what can you expect I think it already offer a lot of good quality also you have electric button here for the window handle uh, plenty of storage space here uh, actually it's quite good the storage space down here and then you have the speaker here uh, as I said before it comes with uh, beats uh, speakers now going inside pretty big entrance in the car also it comes with those standard seat uh, design for the Hola FR they are made by uh, by fabric material i like those lines i think they are kind of unique the comfort on them it's pretty good you can see right here the shape they are pretty wide and have kind of a side support here so they are quite comfortable you have also isofix you can install two child seats in the back here pretty nice and also uh, the way they look they look quite quite sporty in my opinion and yeah you don't even need to have leather here uh, to feel comfortable in the back but still you can get another black version of the seats that you will have to pay 560 francs extra if you want to have the upgrade uh, seats but in the middle here you don't have any armrest or cup holders or stuff like that uh, it's normal for this uh, class if I go forward also in the middle here you don't have any USB any vents uh, or stuff like that only any 12 volt port and then behind the, the front seat you find uh, just this fabric material so no um, storage or stuff like that it's just simple soft material I like it better than that plastic strong there let me go inside the car now we can also test it and yeah I think I will go somehow uh, here behind this seat let me show you first time the position of the seat in the front this is kind of my driving position of the seat and this is kind of in the same position as you can see I try to kind of fix it in the same position so I can show you a realistic space in the back so if you see here I have kind of a lot of space on my knees uh, on the both knees so yeah I guess this is no problem for the size of the car it's incredible good also I can stretch my legs under the front seat this is also impressive guys 
I didn't expect that. I mean, it's, it's quite good. Uh, on my head, four or five fingers, no problem in terms of space. At least for me, I have 173 centimeters. So yeah, you can make an idea. The visibility is quite okay. Not the best one because you have this one here, but it's quite good. If you look in this direction, it's just perfect. Also, you have a small window there. You feel like a lot of light come inside this car. I think if the roof was also white, it was much better. Uh, also, the quality of the roof, it's, it's between, I can say, is the middle one. The comfort here is really good. I feel like in a Golf. I feel like the car is bigger, to be honest. Let me go in the middle. I have a big, big transmission tunnel. Once you are in the middle here, um, yeah, you can see I have like a little bit less space on my head. I can kind of stretch half of my hand there and here as well. So the space is relatively good for short trips, medium short trips. I think you can have three person here without any problem, like in an old Golf. And the knee room, here you have less three fingers. This is a little bit more in the back. And this one here, four or five fingers. So relatively fine also on the, on the knees. Other than that, it feels quite spacious being here in the car. Now guys, let's go in the front and we will talk there. There I find a few premium stuff that I like it very much on this. Seat Ibiza was really impressive. For example, the cockpit, the digital cockpit, it's incredible. I recommend you to get it. And also the multimedia system, it's awesome. Also great quality on the dashboard. And we will talk also a little bit about the transmission and the things down there. So anyway, let's go in the front guys. Starting with the door in the front here. This time we have one big window. I like the fact that it's made from one piece that stay fixed here and you don't have two parts right here where uh, it can bother you while you're driving. Other than that, uh, on the upper side here, even in the front part, you have plastic on the upper side. You don't know that until you touch it because if you look from distance, um, you don't know what it is. You don't know if it's soft or not. I mean, the, the trim and the design is the same as on the soft materials. Then you have this chrome silver, I should say, here on the door, very nice inserted. The handles in the front are in chrome design, not as in the back. Now, the difference here in the front is that here you have soft material, soft material all over here in this area is soft and even here it's soft leather here you have leather where your arm are resting where is matter so i like that the quality is quite good other than that same handle electric adjustable windows then you have electric adjustable mirrors fold the mirror and also you can adjust it electrically from there so that's nice the door bands are quite big pretty big for the size of the car and then you have the beat sound system very good sound system inside the car Big entrance in the car here from the side as well. As you can see it before, also you can take a look a little bit better in the front on the front seats, those standard seats that comes on the Hola FR uh, models. Also the same fabric material, but very nice designed and they are pretty sporty. You have side support, side support here. Uh, also they, are, they have good quality. I drive the car before. By the way, if you want to see the test drive, check out on my channel. And it's very comfortable being here on those seats. Of course, you have to manually adjust it so you don't have electric adjustment or stuff like that. But overall, they are, they are nice. I mean, the seats are very, very comfortable in, in my opinion. Now, if you look at the dash, also it has a nice clean design with plenty of soft materials. We will start here in the left side where you have the controllers for the lights and also for the fog lamps. If you wanna turn on the fog lamps, you have to pull this two times like that, press it back, push it on auto uh, to put it back. Here is plastic, but beginning from here up you will find this leather here and soft material. Then you find also this red stitches, very good quality in this area that goes all over to the dash until on the other side. Uh, on the upper side, you have plastic auto and the vents, you can see it here. And the quality of the vents, it's quite good. As you touch it, you feel uh, that the quality, it is good. Now, you can adjust the steering wheel manually from here, up, down, left, right, uh, without any problem. So. Uh, that's another good feature going inside now the car come impressively in this class usually in years before you don't find an armrest but this ibiza uh, come also with an armrest 
and it's also adjustable uh, you can also open it up and you have some storage space down there so that's incredible and also you have quite good nice material nice design i like it then inside there you have a 12 volt port some storage space for the key two cup holders you have manual handbrake by the way on this model i'm not sure if you can get it with an electronic handbrake i wish it was a possibility because electronic handbrake these days are awesome and also uh, volkswagen group makes some amazing amazing uh, electronic handbrakes and simple to use and good quality also i like it red stitches pretty nice design and easy to use to be honest it's quite easy to use uh, and then going forward uh, i like very much how they design this area here in the middle console uh, you have the start engine button that looks really beautiful yeah let me show you you can see it's pulping like that a little bit red and now i see on the volkswagen golf gti and gte if i'm not wrong the same pulping red light i like it very much uh, and first time was on the set then you have here the lock and unlock uh, car then you have the start stop engine buttons then you have different driving modes here by the way yeah let me let me start the engine here you have different driving modes when you press this button you will see it on the screen you will see that you have three different driving modes actually four it's echo normal sport and individual so on the echo guys you have uh, kind of the acceleration is slower uh, the car changed the gears a little bit uh, faster so it will give you the best consumption and also the steering in terms of steering is just a little bit of difference but all about that check out the test drive there i will tell you more information about the driving uh, but keep in mind that you have those options and on the sport mode it will give you the best performance also on the individual mode you can individualize and you can choose how you would like to have it if you go here you see the steering normal sport or normal or you have the engine normal or sport or echo and then you have the adaptive cruise control uh, and then normal sport and yeah whatever anyway going forward you have the parking sensors here on the side we will show you also there and also if you go in reverse from here this is the gear shifter it's a classic one from dsg transmission automatic transmission if you go in reverse you will see the reverse camera right there that it has quite a good quality in my opinion it looks really really good then if you go down here you have you are in automatic you will see it's in the d mode but if you go uh, right just like that you will see you are in s mode and right now you are in manual mode you can see m1 you can change the gears from here from the pedals on the steering wheel uh, manually if you want to have some fun with the car or also you can change it from here you go like minus or plus up plus minus just like this super simple to use and yeah i like it i like the design here going forward guys if you look down there deeply you will find two usb c ports this is 2021 something that everybody need it's awesome i love that uh, and then you have the wireless charging phone right here you can put even a big phone without any problem you can charge your phone there um, super simple going up a little bit we have this climatic system that it works perfect also it feels very good quality when you touch those buttons you can change the van speed you can put it on auto also the car comes with heated seats two position of heated seats and then you have the the classic buttons and array from the climatic system right there but overall look nice it's very nice fitted right there if i go to the right a little bit before we go to multimedia i want to show you the glow box it's quite big plenty of storage space here in the glow box also you have some storage space up there so the storage space for the size of the car it's pretty good now going forward i like that this area here it's this leather with red stitches also the multimedia system it's integrated between this leather and good material the vents look nice very well integrated in the dash i like very much the way they design the dash so you have a very good visibility on the new digital cockpit on the multimedia system it's well very well positioned and also the dash it's pretty clean and you have a great visibility outside also the vents feel good nice quality here in the middle perfectly positioned right there i like the way they they did it 
Now let's go a little bit to the multimedia system. This is the 10 inch, 10.25 inch display. It's a glossy display uh, with great resolution. It's not the best on the market, but still it's very, very good uh, for the price of the car and for what the car offer is just incredible nice and great colors you have the latest software from seat um, and it's so much customizable for example on the side here you have this shortcut button when you go to different uh, men menus for example here in the uh, in the radio source then this is the media source i'm not going to go in every detail because i make already a full review about this multimedia so check out on my channel if you want to see the full review with it you have also the voice commands that's great to have this on on the car then you have also the navigation here on the right side if you press this button it will get you directly to the navigation and also you can choice you can search um, different places where you want to go and here you have this map where uh, it's work quite fine you don't feel as laggy as in other cars and also it looks really really good great then down here you have the phone connectivity android auto apple carplay you can connect your android and apple carplay to an usb cable i will show you another video if you want to see the video with android auto and new sad multimedia system check out on my channel i will have the video there if it's not already there just click the subscribe button to see the notification when the video will come out then you have the car a car here where you press the car you have all the information about the car pressure uh, errors stuff like that then you go to selection driving data you have all the driving data you can see since refueling the last 471 kilometers the consumption 6.5 liters uh, and in the last 511 kilometers 6.9 liters it's quite a good consumption uh, keeping in consideration this is a new car and they didn't drive it economical at all tire pressure here and all that infos and a digital cockpit you can customize from here what you would like to see there but i will show you in a second we will talk about that later and then you have the last one the sound system here um, the beats sound system where you can change the zabufor equalizer sound focus and on the settings if you go you have different settings here i don't want to make it so long this video so that's why i will go really fast now this is like a tablet you know and if you go here this is the main button it will get you to home this is home you can customize this home i should say uh, the way you want it wherever you like to see here on the home screen you can see it if you if you see down here you have also some kind of shortcut buttons that you can customize it it's like your widgets if you press this you can choose to see media and if you want to add another things driver assistant for example how cool is that press x and then you have it down here and when you press it it will get you directly to the to the menu where you want to go and then you go to settings and then you can activate the front assist or driver alert or adaptive cruise control from here uh, you can choose how you like to have it and it's it's great in my opinion it's a great uh, system and then press it and it will get you directly there if you press one more time and then one more time here it will get you to the menu of the car here's the menu <clears throat> you can go to the settings store legal advice language you can change it from here units on the settings you can change all the settings of the car the important settings um, time and date screen stuff like that also on the second screen you have the legal notice store user help here kind of a manual of the car driver assist you already see it before you go back here back to menu <clears throat> then you have the sound also the sound you see it before and then you have the vehicle you see it navigation telephone full links media and radio those are the menu um, as you see it before i already show you those things i already have a full review with this new multimedia system of the new sad so check it out on my channel now going forward guys uh to the steering wheel right here we have this fr steering wheel but it's different uh if you already see that uh, alhambra video from yesterday i made it with uh, the new alhambra fr you will see that there you have a really proper leather steering wheel but on this uh, ibiza i don't know sure if you can get it as an option or not but this one it looks gorgeous but when you touch it it is not leather you know it's kind of a fake leather 
uh, but it looks like leather you can see the stitches you can see everything it's look nice it's fine for me it doesn't bother me but it's just as an information to know but it looks really good and the grip and and the way you control it it's, it's quite fine and other than that everything is the same also the controllers here for the voice command for the different function is similar even here in the back you have the cruise control controllers from here for tempo mat controller and then on the right side you have also those controllers right here where you can change different uh, functions of the car and on the cockpit something that i will show you right now you can change for example different option there you can go to the view you can see the navigation in the middle you can see wherever you want to see right there in the middle you can change it simply from here also go up and down now um, i will go a little bit closer so you can see what i what you can change there so you have this amazing digital cockpit that i recommend you to get it if you buy and sat these days and right here let me show you guys let me show you how, how many things you can do. For example, you can have this view where you can have, let me put up there, you can see the vehicle status, you can see the range and information about the range, consumption, speed, uh, warning, oil temperature, trip, consumption and range. And yeah, whatever you want to see, you can have it in the middle or you can have the adaptive cruise control information or you can have the um, navigation right there in the middle so for example if you set the, the navigation you can have it directly on the middle of the screen so you can see the navigation without any problem and then you have media telephone and vehicle status if you want to change this view you press the view and then you change it and you can see the speedometer and rpm and then you can change it again to see all over the screen what is right there so yeah let me go back to to the navigation just like that and then you can have it right there on the navigation and by the way guys if you go here to the navi and if you press here show map in cluster the only downside on this car something that i see also on the volkswagen is that uh, you have to choice you want to see here the map on the multimedia system or you can see it right there on the cockpit you cannot see it in the both sides in the same time so you have to choose from here you go to show map in cluster then it will appear in the cluster and you will never see it here so yeah you have to choose anyway you can see uh, in different ways you can see the navigation there between those speedometer or you can see it uh, just all over the screen like that that looks awesome or you can see it also a little bit smaller and you have in the same time the speedometer and rpm on the side it's kind of a sport mode i like very much this view anyway it's just incredible nice this is the cockpit this is the car guys uh, i hope you can make an idea about it also up here uh, here is the mirror. It looks quite nice. Also, you have great visibility in the back. I like the mirror um, the way they, they design it. It's quite nice. On the upper side, you have a mirror. Very good uh, quality. And also on the upper side, you have the same design as you will find it on the Volkswagen. You have the button for information, service, SOS. Uh, you have some light here. Normal bulb light, no LEDs. But other than that, it's quite nice. Also, the visibility around the windows. Um, I drive the car and it's just perfect. No complaining in terms of visibility. Um, it's just, just fine. Also, in the back, you can see one more time the seats. And yeah, what can I say, guys? Uh, I guess that was the review with the new Seat Ibiza Hola FR 2021 model. I know it's not a brand new model, but I still want to show you. I didn't review it already on my channel. I want to review it. I want to present you. I want you to make an idea about the car. If you are in Switzerland, I will leave the link in the description. Also around Switzerland, you want to buy the car, you want to test it check out at Gauchi Garage, uh, you will have the link in the description, you can see the prices and stuff like that. Also, if you want to find out more technical details about this car or whatever car, I have a lot of cars on our website sdadancar.com, check it out there, you find a lot of uh, useful information. Other than that, guys, I hope it was helpful. Uh, if it was helpful and get some useful information, please like it, share it. I really, really appreciate that. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see the test drive with this um, Ibiza. Also, if you want to see the newest car that come on the market, uh, just click the subscribe button to see the notifications when a new video will come out. And guys, uh, until next time, stay safe and see you soon. Bye, guys.